These are familiar scenes at job recruitment exercises in Nigeria. There is a special difference in this particular instance though, as these are qualified medical doctors applying for jobs overseas, in Saudi Arabia to be precise. What you can see behind me right now is the process of the recruitment of Nigerian doctors by the Saudi Arabian authorities. This exercise is currently ongoing at the Sheraton Hotel and Towers right here in the Nigerian capital, Abuja. Nigerian resident doctors have been on strike for almost a month in their demand for better working conditions and negotiations with the government have failed repeatedly. And the prospect of working for the Saudi government is now seen as a big escape. The federal government is showing the cold shoulder attitude, doesn't show any kind of responsibility or okay, uh, being careful about the situation. I can't imagine, I can't believe my Honorable Minister of Health came out and he threatened us. So I think it does not make sense or doesn't make much. I mean, it wasn't the situation. I would, to be candid, we're very, very disappointed. I personally am disappointed. When I go to where I work, I work in a very critical uh, care services of the hospital. But basic things that we need, we don't have. Some things I used to put in my money to, to, to buy what I need, just for the sake of the patient. And uh, to worsen the situation and to make the matter worse, and day by day, there is no any progress. To escape from the hills uh, in the society. What do you mean by a lot of discouraging things. You see banditry, see kidnapping, incessant strike and all those stuff. And if you can get a place where you can work, uh, a place that is calm, a, a place where you can uh, use your skill and you can be well uh, animated, is it not better? For Vivian Okolo here, it is more of a situation of heartbreak as she expresses frustration over the ever worsening situation in the healthcare system, with this particular case in point. I left medical school April 2011. My teacher is here. My own teacher, the first person I cited here, was my teacher, a seasoned pediatric consultant. You know what it means? My teacher that taught me how many years ago, I'm giving up on the country, on our leaders, and I come here to meet my teacher. I mean, this is the worst. I, I, I never knew it has gone this bad. The brain drain by Nigerian doctors, the proverbial greener pastures, has for long been a known fact. But having a foreign government conduct massive recruitment of Nigerian doctors in Nigeria is taking the issue to a whole new level. And there is no telling the likely far-reaching effects of this down the line. Godfrey Eshamogi, Galaxy News, Abuja.